Hey everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. So I want to continue on with the topic of fans. So before we go any further, let's discuss the fan laws. Let's get started. The fan laws, also called the affinity laws, describe the relationship between variables involved in fan performance, shaft speed, airflow, pressure, and horsepower. The fan laws assume that air density does not change and that the system the fan is in doesn't change either. So let's make a little room here and let's look at the first fan law. The first fan law is that the airflow is proportional to the shaft speed. So as RPM increases, the airflow will increase. The equation is CFM1 over CFM2 equals RPM1 over RPM2. So let's say we have a fan that's running 2000 CFM at 1100 RPM. How much airflow would we get at 2000 RPM? Well, you can use this equation to get CFM2 equals CFM1 times RPM2 divided by RPM1. And when we put our numbers in there, we get that the CFM would be about 3636 CFM. The second fan law is that the pressure is proportional to the square of the shaft speed. So let me make a little more room over here. And let's say that this is operating at two inches of pressure. So pressure one divided by pressure two equals RPM one squared divided by RPM two squared. So to find the pressure at 2000 RPM, we get the equation pressure two equals pressure one times RPM two squared divided by RPM one squared. And then that comes out to about 6.6 .6 inches. So let's write this up here and then make a little more room again. The third law is that the horsepower varies by the cube of the shaft speed. So brake horsepower one divided by brake horsepower two equals RPM one cubed divided by RPM two cubed. So let's just say this is a one and a half horsepower motor. We get our equation for brake horsepower two equals brake horsepower one times RPM two cubed over RPM one cubed plug in 1.5, 2,000, and 1,100, and we get about nine horsepower. So this is something to think about in HVAC systems. If you have more pressure than you expected, you have to speed up the fan to get to the airflow you need. The energy will go up as the cube of the RPM. The fan laws apply to all fans in your HVAC system, from fans driven by small fractional horsepower motors to large industrial fans, but you could see that this could equate to a lot of extra energy use. So that's the basics of fan laws. I wanted to cover those because they'll probably pop up in some future videos. So don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.